so glad I got into this class. I just want to show people I really care about others. Yeah, well I'm here for the free trips over the border, cheap wine, crazy pills, and those live shows with it. Donkey. Hello. Hello? Hello? Do these belong to you? No. Ah, uh, anyone? No? They're mine now. Okay, so who am I? You're our teacher. Ah, interesting. <clears throat> right. Let's get started. Welcome to the introduction to institutional conversational Spanish. See. Si. Close, but if you expect to learn how to order a meal, ask where the shopping center is, or pick up somebody at a cantina, you can forget it! And if you ever taken Spanish before... I have! Then you can forget that too! Just remember, I'm here to help you communicate in the appropriate manner. Now, are there any questions before I start? Mr. Gallo, I have a question. I didn't ask for questions! Let's get on with the class, please. I will be playing you some basic expressions that will soon become part of your everyday speech. ¿Dónde está tu mamá? ¿Por qué está en el baño? ¿Por qué está en el baño? ¿Por qué está con el perro? ¿Qué color es el perro? Jamón. Me gustan tacos de sangre. All right, let's test your knowledge. Where's the mother? En el baño? English, please. In the bathroom? Good, and why? Uh, well, that part... Wrong! You! Uh, to take a crap? No! Who can answer my question? Because she is with the dog? Very good. And what color is the dog? Brown? Wrong! Black? Wrong! Yes? The color of the dog is... ham? Exactly! So everyone, repeat after me. ¿Qué color es el perro? ¿Qué color es el perro? Jamón! Jamón! Then, we hear the man say, Me gustan tacos de sangre. Or, I like tacos of blood. And the girl's response is... Excuse me, Mr. Gallo, but is ham really a color? Aha! Uh -huh. So we have a comediana in the class. All right, who wants to clear this up for... What's your name? Ella? Thank you. So, who wants to help? Poor little confused Ellen. Correct. ¿Qué estás haciendo, Juan? Tengo una cita con Anita. ¿A qué hora? Tengo miedo. El diablo está en mi sándwich. Voy a lamer a mi familia. ¿A qué hora? Mmm, delicioso Coca-Cola. We've gotten a little advanced here, but I hope you can get some of that from the context. I'll just go through the dialogue in English. What are you doing, Jan? I have an appointment with Anita. At what time? I'm scared. The devil is in my sandwich! I'm going to lick my family. At what time? Mmm, delicious Coca-Cola. Mr. Gallo, I don't understand. Could you please explain the- In the name of all that is holy! How do I get this crap through your thick skulls? Do I have to split them open with a hammer and shove them down there with my boots? Yes? Can I be dismissed? You're inconsequential. In English? It's all very simple. The people you'll be working with in our overseas institutions are haunted by spirits beyond our realm. In layman's terms, they are crazy. You can't offer them eggs and expect them to say, yes, thank you, scrambled. 
They're going to tell you about how their mother made them dress up like a little monkey and lick her face! This is what you signed up for! <coughs> No, no, no. Please don't cry. I've been a bad monkey. Mr. Monkey doesn't like crying, Mama. I'm sorry. I've just been on the edge recently. I confess, I haven't been outside much. Isn't that right, <gasps> Senor Ro? I'm scared. Oh, the devil is in my sandwich. Yes, yes, muy bien. Mr. Gallo, I really gotta go to the bathroom, man. And why? To be with the dog. Yes, yes, muy bien, excelente. Well, we've come to the end of the class. But before you go, let me give you the written assignment for next week. Now, here's a picture of a small boy. You are going to write underneath. Chile con carne. Correct. I would also accept just carne, simply translated as meat. That's all for today. And what time do we meet next week? At what time? Mmm, delicious Coca-Cola. Mm.